cause I'm going big, going, going big. Everywhere I go, they know the click. The Ravens are now on the clock. They know the shit, they would say, no, they sick, acting like they know me, cause I'm shitty pillar. Time to bring the bass bird. <laughs> the Ravens are oh now on the clock. Mama make it happen. Now my dreams reality not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me. I don't want back you. Yes. Now I hit the same day. Um, the Ravens. The goat, Eli Apple. The Ravens. Benjamin is a top eyes biscuit away from being a tight end. <laughs> Alright, so here is the GOAT roster. I mean, this is just, this is something. The ultimate meme slash trash NFL team, uh, fantasy draft. Some people I definitely missed, but uh, I might try to trade for and pick them up. Starting QB, Gardner Minshew, of course, I mean, he's the GOAT, I mean, I can't say enough things about this man, he's just a legend, I, I mean, you know, we got Sanchez, and we got the goat, the other GOAT, Nathan Peterman, running back, we got uh, Marshawn Lynch, we got Ty Montgomery, after, uh, I remember uh, Ty Montgomery, he dropped that, uh, that kick return, he muffed it, or something, or no, he fumbled a kick return in the playoffs, or in a really big game, on the Packers and he uh, traded him to the Ravens for a bag of chips basically so oh and he's injured I didn't even realize that so I'm gonna have to pick someone else up that's great and uh Buck Allen uh, a lot of Ravens fans uh on the Ravens subreddit will uh will know him he's he's good fullback they got the uh the worst Watt brother wide receiver <laughs> this is a let me tell you guys stacked wide receiver class Antonio Brown I mean obviously Aguilar, the good, Brandon Marshall, the crybaby, Kelvin Benjamin, uh, Popeye's biscuit away from being a tight end, Martavis Bryant, you know, lighten it up, uh, Terrell Pryor, fucking terrible, uh, Dante Moncrief, who's like the worst wide receiver of all time, and uh, Kevin White, who's like the biggest, one of the biggest wide receiver busts. Tight end, we got Darren Waller, who's gonna, uh, you know, <laughs> do some coke before the games in the locker room, uh, Jason Witten, who... Probably doesn't realize he's playing football again. Ed Dixon, who's another Ravens goat. And uh, this motherfucker, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Left tackle, uh, today, Joe, as of today, Joe Staley retired. So I figured we honor him by picking him on this ultimate you know, Super Bowl winning squad. Um, and this dude, I don't really know. I just picked the worst player available. Richie Incognito, he's a piece of shit. And uh, we got the goat, Michael Jordan, coming. So, uh... Yeah, uh, Jason Kelsey, who could forget that, that Super Bowl parade speech and that glorious outfit. And uh, Ryan Khalil. Uh, Trey Turner is fucking garbage. Uh, as is Iofati. Um, and I don't really know who this dude is, but he's pretty funny looking. So I picked him as well. Courtney Upshaw um, had a hard time finding a left end, but uh, he, was, he was not great with the Ravens. And he's... I mean, I was glad to get rid of him. Now we can see him, and obviously, you know, the dude's just a complete scumbag. You know, perfect for this team. Uh, Mario Edwards. Uh, Cornelius Washington, I mean, that's just a fantastic name. You know, and Ziggy Hood, another one. You know, both of these guys deserve it because of their names. Uh, Clay Matthews, the roughing the passer. Um, a legend. The, the, you know, roughing the passer goat. And uh, Shaquem Griffin, you know, him and his one hand are going to be an excellent addition to this team. Ruben Foster, Manti, I mean, this is a stacked middle linebacker court. Manti, Terry, and his imaginary girlfriend are going to come out here and they're going to own own the field. And uh, Ruben Foster, I mean, I'm just so glad to have him. Sean Lee, uh, 
It was like a gazillion years old. I just thought he was funny. You know, he could finally start on a team again. I don't really know who this dude is. I think I just picked the worst player available again. Janoris Jenkins. Uh, <clears throat> I remember he... I think it was the Giants, right? Who cut him because he called a fan a retard on Twitter. Uh, Josh Norman, who's just terrible. I hate this man so much. Talks trash when he's literally a 78 overall in Madden. Um, you know, he's just a scumbag as well. Eli Apple, the GOAT, the greatest cornerback of all time. I mean, how can you not pick him? Vernon Hargraves is being passed around the NFL like a blunt. Finally makes an appearance on a on a Super Bowl winning team where we're you know we're actually going to need him. Justin Bethel, uh, Ravens did him pretty dirty this season, so I was like, fuck it, I'll I'll give him another chance to rock the purple and black. And a uh, Corn Elder. I mean, that's just another fantastic name. Corn Elder. I mean, a stud. Troy Apke. Uh, I remember him. He ran that that 40. I think it was last year or two years ago. Ran the 40-yard dash, and Deion Sanders was uh, pretty impressed with him because he's uh because he's white. So I figured I add him to the memes, the meme squad. Uh, Jermaine Whitehead, uh, I'm positive that's the dude on the Browns who was calling uh, using racial slurs on Twitter. So I had to add him. As well as Chris Conte, who got destroyed by Vance McDonald in the regular season. Uh, two stud safeties here. Um, double doink, and that's a no-brainer. And uh. The Scottish Hammer. I'm probably gonna cut this dude, but Scottish Hammer. I mean, he's just gonna carry us consistently, pin him down inside the 10 yard line. I'm excited. Anyone on the practice squad? Oh, it's Jeremy Sprinkle. I mean, I should have drafted him. I don't really know anyone else. So, so yeah, that's the squad. I'm excited, and uh, we're gonna see how we do this year. Next episode is uh, our first game. Oh, I had Martavis Bryant. Oh, I do have him. I showed you guys that, but apparently he's injured, so that's great. Alright, well, I'm going to place him on IR. So next episode, we're going to start the season. I'm excited. Can't wait. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.